With over two-thirds of South Africans under 35 years old without work, the only way to fix the unemployment problem was through improvements in the education system. This is the view of the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation Policy and Analysis Unit Head, Jan Hofmeyer. He was speaking on the release of the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation's latest transformation audit, which was released in Cape Town yesterday. He added that there was no silver bullet for fixing youth unemployment. Well, joining us on the line this morning, we have Jan Hofmeyer. Jan, thank you so much for your time. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for inviting me. Firstly, tell us more about the transformation audit. How does it work and what does it reveal? Yes, this is a publication that we have been doing since 2004 and we focus on four areas. We, firstly, we look at macroeconomic policy. We also look at the labor market and how that is related to the issues of skills and education. And then finally, we also look at um, poverty and inequality, how this all impacts on the question of poverty and inequality. And each year we choose a specific theme to focus on. And um, this year, also so in the light of, of the findings of, of Census 2011, we thought that um, because two-thirds of, of, of South Africans are younger than the age of 35, this definitely warrants a focus uh, on the position of young South Africans in the economy. Now, now you're saying the only way to fix the unemployment problem was uh, through uh, improvements in the education system. Do you have any specific recommendations? Well, I, I, I think one must qualify. This, this is not the only way. The, 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 one of the, the critical problems that, that we have in South Africa is also the question of access to the labor market. But before you can get access to the workplace, you have to have the necessary qualifications. And what we see in, in South Africa up to now is that there has been a very high dropout rate for, of young people who start school in grade one but do not reach uh, matric. I mean, this, this figure is more or less 50% of young people fall out of the schooling system. And therefore, firstly, we have to ensure that young people complete their schooling then we also have to focus on the quality of, of public education itself to ensure that when young people leave, they have the necessary qualification uh, to enter the labor market. And then, I think thirdly, we have to focus on making it easier for them to, to get employed because there, there are still a number of obstacles in that regard. But most definitely, I think the minimum qualification these days in order to, to get employment that, that will make one or will help one make a living is to have a metric. That is the absolute minimum qualification that one needs. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on uh, the youth wage subsidy? It has become a big political uh, football. Yes, it has become a political football and I think that is maybe a danger as well that we become too focused on one intervention, such as the youth wage subsidy. And I think research across the board has shown that that will make a contribution in in order to allow young South Africans to enter uh, employment, but it's not the only solution. I think one has to look at a more comprehensive package, such as uh, grants that assist young people to actually search for jobs, because we must remember there is also large cost involved in, in searching for a job, access to the internet, for example, to, to search. Um, one, one also, of course, in, has, has to look at, at the education system. So it, it requires a, a very comprehensive approach and to focus on one area, such as the youth wage subsidy, might distract us from some of the other interventions that are also required. Now, what happens to, to the findings of the transformation audit? Who gets to see them, to study them, and, and, and to have debate around those findings? This is all that we distribute very widely sort of across people in the policy sphere within government, but also business and, and labor. And we, uh, we, we try to, through the, the audit, also make our contribution in terms of adding to the policy discourse that, that exists. All right, Johan. Jan, thank you so much for your time this morning. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. That was Jan Hofmeyer. He is uh, the... Uh, the reco- uh, he was the analysis unit head at uh, the Justice for Reconciliation uh, Institute. They've released uh, their, their transformation audit, and they're saying with over two-thirds of South Africans under 35 years old without work, the only way to fix the unemployment growth 
was through improvements in the education system. It's 2 to 9. We go for a quick Nizam break. When we come back, we focus on uh, the bail hearing uh, as far as murder accused Rudolf Vivius is concerned.